All right, we are back on the trailer adventure. Um, as you can see, we uh, enlisted Nicole's help and got the top off. So now we can get into these points and uh, weld off. Give us a little more structural uh, stability like I uh, alluded to the last video. Um, and then we also have more metal. So that metal right there is going to go up here between these two spans. So essentially um, you'll have runners running along here and then I also have some intermediates running between um, along there. That's the one by two. We're gonna be intermediates. These are one and a half by four. Same as this except a little thinner. So this is eighth inch wall and this uh, these intermediates right here are going to be uh, 11 gauge so a little lighter 14 or 14 gauge that's what it is um, so that's what um, we got going on today and then we're going to try and see what kind of time we have but we have the uh, door here and we're going to cut it in here so i'll got to get a little template and uh, do a nice cut out here i have got some angle iron to um, do the framing for the box. This is gonna be for the uh, battery bank. So got a Yeti 400 goal zero, and uh, I'm gonna put four additional 33 amp hour batteries in there. So it should give me uh, it's like 165 um, amp hours. Should be more than enough for long weekend trips. Running in the, the uh, refrigerator, pump, you know, anything that we've got going on. So that's the uh, that's the plan. So let's uh, get to it. It's a Saturday uh, before Christmas this next week. Got a long uh, weekend and then I'm heading out of town. And so we'll see how far we get along here. Um, but really trying to get this thing knocked out now at this point. All right.
going a little out of order, but boom! This thing uh, obviously isn't completely installed yet, but gives the idea, which is pretty sweet. So, backside is um, we're gonna put angle, weld it out to the uh, frame, and this will just uh, drill through, like you can see right here <coughs> from the inside to secure it. So, uh, yeah. Pretty stoked. All right, onward. Tonight. I'm done for the day and uh, what we have done is frame out as far as I can the top deck piece so um, I think I've explained uh, what size we have but you can see we are missing a section here there's actually two pieces that go there um, it's on the back right corner front left corner we're gonna have some swivel chairs up there for hunting and um, they do not have the axle piece that's gonna support those yet, so I can't frame them out. Um, so we are as far as we can be. Um, but what we also did today is the door for the battery bank. So it's installed. Um, we have just put some uh, angle iron back here to uh, get the screws um, installed for it. You can see, uh, just had some uh, self-tapping screws um, here in the house, so I just use those, and you can see the clearance on it is pretty, um, pretty good. It's not uh, impacting at all. Um, but yeah, so what's gonna be in there is a gold zero over here on this side, and we'll have four matching batteries on this side, split by a shelf, all tied in parallel to give me 400 watts and 165 amp hours of runtime. So it should be sufficient for what we're looking looking to do here. Um, but we'll see if we need to expand on that down the road. So um, that's where we are. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, let me know if there's anything else you guys are seeing, ideas or whatnot, or anything I'm doing wrong. Maybe uh, you guys are seeing. I've had a few people chime in already. Um, appreciate the uh, feedback, but uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.